we decided to take a break from a couple of projects this afternoon and go do some foraging. So today we're out looking for fiddleheads, fireweed shoots, devil's club, morels, basically anything that we can find and identify that is edible. Yeah. Looks like a little head of lettuce, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Does it have blooms on it? Are you having fun, Manelli? Manelli, look at me. So unfortunately we didn't forage everything that we were out here for today. We didn't see any morels um, and we didn't see any ostrich ferns. So we were looking for fiddleheads and while there are a ton of fiddleheads out here, we are looking specifically for ostrich ferns. And on around the property we have a lot of wood ferns. Now some people say you can eat those, others say you can't. Um, since we're still new to foraging here in Alaska, we decided that it would be best to not forage those. Plus, we saw a lot of other things, too, that we could potentially forage in the future. There was a lot of horsetail, mare's tail. We saw some currants coming in that we're excited to uh, forage here soon. There's a lot of berry bushes coming in that are going to be ready to forage soon as well. We just harvested items that we had 100% confidence in knowing what they were. And we'll do some more research and get back out here and forage some more. So we got a pretty decent harvest here of some fireweed, dandelion greens, and devil's club buds. So we're going to start washing them up and getting them ready to cook for dinner.
Our dandelion greens are devil's club buds and our fireweed is clean, it's dried, and it's ready to be cooked. So the first thing I'm going to do is blanch the devil's club and the dandelion greens. While we're waiting for the water to boil, I'm going to fry up some bacon. To go along with our harvest here, I have some chicken breast I'm going to fry up and sweet potato hash and we're going to see how it all tastes. Alright, the water is boiling so we're going to go ahead and blanch our greens here. With the sweet potatoes, I'm going to be adding a little bit of garlic and onion, sauteing them in olive oil, and then I'll probably throw in a couple of spices. And then with our greens, I have some bacon I'm going to crumble up in there, and some garlic and butter. So what I'm adding to the chicken is just a blend of salt, pepper, onion powder, a dash of cayenne, and some chili powder. Now that the sweet potatoes are almost done, they are also getting a little bit of spice. I'm adding salt, pepper, chili powder, and a dash of cayenne to those as well. We're going to saute all of our greens with a little bit of butter and some bacon. And I'm frying this up just as I would asparagus. And I'm also going to throw in a little bit of garlic.
How's the sweet potato? Really good. I'm scared to try the devil's club. I'm a little nervous for it too. I'll let you go first. Mm. No? It tastes like you're eating a spruce tree. <laughs> it's like a little piney. Yeah. I don't know if I'm a fan of it. It's it's okay, but... I mean, uh, I could eat it if I was really hungry. Yeah. <laughs> I like this, though. Yeah, I like the... I love the fireweed. It tastes just like asparagus. <laughs> it kind of um, absorbed a little bit of the flavor of the Devil's Club. I think I just can't get over... The Devil's Club, because it looks like it's got cactus spikes all over it. <laughs> it looks like something that's ready to attack you. Mm -hmm. I think next time... The fireweed's awesome. Yeah, the fireweed is really good. I do think next time for the dandelion greens, that I'll add those very last. Mm. Like at the very end, because they're a little wilted. But they're still really good. And... The bacon just makes everything better. Yeah, that's the thing with the Devil's Club is even the butter like helps it. The butter and the bacon. Mm -hmm. That part, that piece was just really bacony. But hey, I don't know. It's not bad. Like I would eat it if I was really hungry in the middle of nowhere and starving. <laughs> I can eat this fireweed all day though. It tastes very foresty. <laughs> We're going to finish up our dinner here, and we will see you on the next one.